Hello, it's Martin uh, from uh, Eurogamer. Uh, I'm here with Tom Brammel. And Hello. We're going to take you through some of Forza Motorsport 5, um, which I have just reviewed for Eurogamer, and you can read the review up on the site. Did you like Forza Motorsport 5, Martin? I liked parts of Forza Motorsport 5. Um, I think Turn 10 have done another fantastic job when it comes to the driving model, which... Uh, as is as is always the case of Forza, it's uh, both accessible and um, there's enough there to get your teeth stuck into um, if you're a bit more dedicated. Um, so yeah, I like that part of it, but um, there's a lot less Forza here this time out than there was in the last one, and I don't think some of the stuff they've added to it works particularly well. They've gone for sort of a free-to-play model on top of the core game haven't they yeah the progression in the um in the career um feels a bit gimped um in that you don't get rewarded cars anymore you just got to buy everything um, so you actually have to pay money real real world money to not buy. real world money in, in game oh, currency right. but um, oh, okay but yeah it's kind of it feels weighted to, to the point where you can't really avoid microtransactions if you want to yeah, get I was some of say, it so where does the actual money come in so is it just gets to the point where you feel like you can't obtain enough through in the same way because it was a system they had in Forza 4 as well where you used car tokens to um, car tokens to buy cars uh, it's the same here except it's just uh, Forza 4 was actually quite generous with giving you cars as well um, right and that's not the case with this one where it's a bit more a bit more stingy so what's this track that you're doing here? We're in Bathurst, uh, which is oh, one of the new tracks um, in Forza uh, in Forza Five. It's um, famous track in, in Australia. Australia yeah, yeah, used uh, primarily for V8 supercars who um, do all sorts of heroics up and down uh, Mount Panorama, which is where we are right now. And I forgot to change gears. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's one of the best tracks in the world, um, and. It's kind of been absent from games for quite a while, but uh, of late it just seems to be proper everywhere. It's in Gran Turismo 6, um, it is iRacing, just put it in there, and Grid 2, um, you might have forgotten about Grid 2. Grid 2's also just introduced it as DLC as well. Cool. So the other thing that they've added, which I think maybe you're not super positive about, is uh, this Drivatar thing, right, that uses the cloud computing. Yeah. Um, they use Drivatar, which is kind of the theory is it um, it streams in data from other drivers and then uh, seeds that into other people's games. And so, as you can see, every other driver in this has a game attack on yeah, top of them right now. But it's not a multiplayer game. They, this is AI based on how they race. Yeah. And um, how do they race? <laughs> well, they make a lot of mistakes, um, which is authentic to an online race, but sometimes can be absolutely infuriating when you're playing offline and someone just insists on breaking halfway down the straight or as happens a bit too often for my liking breaks on the exit uh, of a corner um, and yeah, that sounds annoying yeah it is quite annoying it does sound like one of those features where they probably thought um, you know take uh, real world players behavior to create more authentic scenarios but maybe people when they're racing in video games don't race in a way that feels authentic yeah um, I think because I'm looking at it Online racing on on a console. See what's that guy doing? That guy just parked on an apex in front of me. Yeah. Um, on a console, I, I I don't enjoy online racing on consoles too much because of um, the skill level is quite low. Um, and if you're trying to race seriously, it's quite annoying having someone nerf you off on corners all the time, uh, which is something the offline mode of four to five now replicates brilliantly. Uh, <laughs> Can you turn it off, driver tar? No, you can't. Oh really? Yeah. And it's not. It's it's not abysmal. It's just like Forts has never. I think Forts has had. Oh, I screwed up that corner. Mm. Forts has um, historically had like better AI in Gran Turismo. Um, although it's never been never been amazing. I think um, I read back in my Forts of Four review and I remember making a point. In fact, I went back to play Forts of Four while doing this, and um, and yeah, and it, it was not particularly believable and they had the same tendency to do a lot of the stuff which the driver tars are doing mm. um, and so it doesn't seem to have fixed some of the fundamental problems with uh, um, with AI in racing games like AI in racing games is a really hard thing to do there's yeah. not many games that have done it particularly well um, in fact I struggle to list ones that have done it in a convincing way Gran Turismo is obviously famously poor in that front mm. um, I play a lot of GTR 2, which is an old Simbin racing game, and that actually uh, is one of the few games which has 
decent AI in that it's predictable, they stick to the line, they give you space when you need it, which is kind of all I want mm. from um, AI in a, in a racing game. Mm. Okay, so um, I guess the other thing people will be wondering about is does it feel like a technical showcase for the Xbox One? Oh yeah, like um, in terms of visuals, uh, I mean it's a bit flat looking because that's uh, Forza's way. Um, but uh, but this uh, is there is yeah it's 1080p, and second. I went back to I went back to play uh, Forza 4 again, and that's 720p. And going back to play Forza 4 and then coming to this, it's it's uh, remarkable the difference it makes. Um, and we're just about to cross the finish line in a lowly tenth. That's great. I mean, you are you know uh, trying to talk while racing. That's and, my excuse. Uh, yeah, and, and you're you're using a manual gearbox as well, which yep. um, most people don't. Um, so you know uh, you've done quite well there. I would say tenth. I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, cool. Um, yeah. That's that. We'll have another video up as well for you to show you kind of more of the hot lapping stuff in there. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.